Hello dear friends, I hope that you're doing well. So in this video we have this saddle uh, uh, branded Whitcop and I'm just gonna do a review for it. This is the medium size uh, Whitcop Medicus and uh, it's made in Germany. I also have here the, the box and this one uh, is called Whitcop Medicus Air what's it saying on it ergonomic memory foam five contact zones grip and airflow airflow comes uh, from this metal rails as you can see the the air will just come from the bottom and they will just move upper what's else on the box mountain bike saddle with memory foam with the perfect fit more padding for an optimal sitting comfort no pressure area comfort area escape area no friction area and on the back it's saying that it's made in uh, Germany Okay, German has here some uh, instructions. So pretty much uh, in Europe, this saddle is usually being sold uh, around uh, April or uh, May every year in the little stores, which are uh, uh, a German. Uh, it's a German store. So this is the saddle. This is the medium one uh, sized. Uh, I, I think that you can find this saddle also in uh, US on uh, Amazon. Maybe in a different uh, format. But this is the one that is being sold in uh, Europe. So it's it feels very solid overall. The rails have no play whatsoever. I've used this saddle for I think uh, two seasons, so two years, and it's just like new. The the materials are high quality. As you can see, it has this memory foam material. The only problem is the the shape. Uh, usually you will not install it in this position because you will fall over you will install it something maybe something like this and your position you will stay in this area overall in this gap or maybe on the back but uh, the nose of the saddle being upper I would say it creates a bit of pressure here and also the the gap from the middle it would have been better if it was also maybe towards the back as well so longer it's it's a uh, pretty small now what i don't like about it is the the cover the outside material it's uh, a bit stiff and you can't really slide easily forward and backward so uh, mostly if you have if you are sitting on a position you will stay like that so you can't really just go forward or backward too much from the back it looks like this nothing fancy and it has these two giants uh, plastic areas that cover I think the the coils they have some coils here tighten it with uh, screws and also on the front and overall as I said it feels very very solid I don't think it's possible to to break it even if you're uh, pretty heavy this will work just fine the, the rails are a bit small compared to a mountain bike saddle 
I've also used it, this saddle mostly on my uh, specialized uh, mountain bike so it works just fine on a mountain bike and also I think on uh, a trekking bike because this saddle is mostly for comfort so if you have uh, if you don't experience any pain between your legs uh, and you want a saddle with that will offer you more comfort I think this is a great saddle uh, it's quite cheap I think uh, I paid for it about uh, ten dollars which is very cheap but uh, it's a bit harder to find it because as I said uh, it's sold in Europe uh, only like uh, for a couple of days in May or April every year after that it's just you will not find it anymore it's it's not being sold probably on Amazon or uh, if you can find it on your uh, on a bike shop you can find it pretty much all the time but maybe it will not be ten dollars maybe twenty or even more now uh, one things uh, a couple of things I wanted to say I also found a Whitcop saddle uh, in a thief store uh, here locally and it was actually a very very old saddle uh, made of leather probably from the early 90s so my guess is that um, Whitcop uh, has been around for uh, quite many years probably they they are quite experienced in making saddles so uh, I would count on their quality and one last thing uh, many years ago maybe like eight or seven years I had another saddle similar as this one also from Whitcop but uh, back then they had a better uh, uh, outside material it was uh, imitating the leather pretty well and you could just slide forward and backward much easily uh, sadly now they use this outside material as I said it's pretty stiff and you can just slide easily on it final verdict I would give uh, I would rate this saddle like uh, 7 out of 10 you can definitely try it if you can find it cheap like 10 or 15 dollars it can be a great trekking uh, saddle if you're going on uh, longer rides but uh, no, it's not really an MTB saddle even if it can be used on an MTB so don't expect to to help you with the speed too much it's a pretty slow saddle but uh, yeah it's more like a comfort saddle if you want a more comfortable saddle definitely go with something like this you might find that uh, this one is the the perfect saddle for you regarding the comfort okay so I hope that my review helped you you made some ideas uh, if you found the video useful please subscribe and thank you for watching